hi guys uh, in this video we will talk about international product life cycle theory all of you must be aware of product life cycle theory which is there in the marketing course but in this what we have is the international product life cycle theory so you know there are different stages in the product life cycle and the first is the intro introduction stage now when the new product is introduced uh, there will be premium pricing to recover the investments which the company has made in research and development for the innovation of the product and that is the reason patents are also given so that others do not produce it and the company innovating can recover its cost now during this period there will be sales in home country that is the country which has innovated and so, since the product is high low income countries will not be able to afford it so this country which is manufacturing it will export it to other higher income countries hic is for higher income countries so this country will export it to other high income countries then the second stage is growth now in the growth price competition begins mass production also starts and there is increased exports to other high income countries and other high income countries also start the production then comes to maturity in maturity production is based on price and product differentiation so companies compete uh, and therefore there is reduction in price because whenever there is price competition companies they reduce the price and try to capture the market at the same time there is product differentiation also so they produce a slightly different variety of the product and they hope to capture the market then since the price has become lower they start exporting to developing countries and in order to reduce the cost since there is price competition in order to reduce the cost the production becomes more capital intensive so they will use more capital and more technology uh, so that the cost of production will be reduced and the last stage is decline again here mostly there is price competition lowest cost of production now in because since there is price competition there is pressure to reduce the cost of production also so that they can sell it at a lower price now the innovator company or the uh, higher income countries companies which are producing they will start producing in the underdeveloped countries or developing countries for the cheap labor so that's what you see most of the companies are setting up their branches or they may close in the home country and set up in the underdeveloped countries like india china or mexico then other countries will also follow then finally it may will happen that the home country where the product originally started uh, stop producing and developing countries start exporting to the world so diagrammatically on x axis i have time and on y axis uh, upward portion is for export and downward is for the import so negative is import and positive is export so the local innovation starts over here and the innovating country will start uh, manufacturing the good the innovating country will start manufacturing the good like uh, this line it goes on up uh, introduction stage and then uh, it is reaching maturity it's coming up that is the peak i'm showing with the pink color and when it has originally started here in the innovating country the other 
high income countries will import the product so i am showing it with highlighting it with yellow other higher income countries will start importing the product so this part is for the import and then other higher income countries will also start its production so the total is yellow now other higher income countries have also started the production and finally when it has reached the maturity here which i have shown with the pink line the lower income countries lic lower income countries will also start importing and the imports will reach the peak the imports of low income countries i am showing with the pink pink highlight so low income countries will also start importing the goods and finally in the decline the production will start in the low income country and then low income country will start exporting so this i have shown it with a green line then low income countries will start exporting to the entire world yeah so this is again final diagram fresh one So thanks guys and good luck for your exams